Hello there, it's Destin the RV Guide. We have a treat today. I just had a 2024 Alpha Wolf 23 LDE drop in on us. Uh, it's a new floor plan. Every single one that I've found so far has been deal pending, so I actually had to have this one pulled from somewhere else. Long story short, new floor plan from Alpha Wolf in their 2024 lineup um, has all the, the slew of upgrades that they've done to them. So let's let's start off at the front here and work our way inside. Uh, so power tongue jack's gonna be standard, two 30 pound LP tanks, and then a battery's gonna be right behind there. Um, solar package is going to be standard this year, so you got 100 watts of solar up on the roof with a 30 amp charge controller. Uh, you got these nice little docking lights in the front. They're going to glow the Alpha Wolf fancy blue, and that is a, a molded fiberglass cap in the front too. Uh, off to the side here, you're going to have the side marker cameras now. Uh, the prep for it's going to be standard this year, so all you got to do is get the Furion add-on and you're good to go. Uh, stabilizers are going to be right in the front. You got front and rear controls for them, and they're going to be electric stabilizers. Good amount of pass through storage in the front area here. Uh, there's going to be our charge controller, it's through Rich Solar. Um, pretty much the same as all the other ones. You got a little USB port right there, and everything. So, sidewalls on this, they're going to use a high gloss gel coat this year, which is one of the changes that they've done. Um, looks really sleek. Uh, doors are going to have that black look. It's not glass, I promise, but it looks really good. Outdoor speakers on this one and an outdoor cable hookup. Uh, Lippert Solid steps are going to be standard. And then this is a change for this year. You get this nice little grab handle. Really big grab handle, not little. I don't know why I'm saying that. Sewer hose towards the back there and then a backup camera prep. So as well as a Lippert ladder prep, so this is new. There's your spare tire towards the back there. And small slide out for this one, not a big slide out, fairly thin. So if you got depth concerns, uh, might be a good one to look into. Cable driven slide outs. Services hook up side, you're gonna have a tankless hot water heater from Gerard. I've said it in my other videos. If you're looking to change out the water heater you have in your camper now, go with a Gerard because it'll slide right in. It's the same size as the traditional water heaters we're used to. All of your exits for the camper are gonna be right towards the front here. And you have your Fresh water connection, city water connection, your black tank flush. Outdoor shower is going to be right next to the slide out too. There's the other side of the pass through. All of the doors are slam latch on here and then a battery disconnect right towards the front there. Let's head on inside this thing. Here we are in the 24 Alpha Wolf 23 LDE. So like I was saying earlier, new floor plan through them. Rear living couples coach kind of setup with a walkthrough bathroom. Giving you a little bit more space in the living area and a lot of bathroom space for this sort of setup. So let's start off. We're going to have a dinette style. Both of these are going to have really long pullout storage. These drawers go out the full length here. I like the fabric that they used for it too, so it's not the pleather on these, it's an actual cloth, but it's it looks sleek. It's a pedestal style table, which will drop down to an extra sleeper if you need it, and a really nice opening window on the campsite here. Up above there is going to be our TV mounting spot, so you could put probably a 40 or so inch TV, and we got a little bit of storage on the sides here. Some DVDs or board games or something like that. So on this back wall here, we're going to have our thermostat controls for the air conditioner as well as the driven portable speaker attachment. So you can buy them aftermarket. I've said it in my other videos. I'll have a link in the description. Uh, you can hit this QR code right here if you want to stop the video and get the info on it. But portable speaker for the uh, for the camper if you wanted to add one. So there's our theater seating for this one. You do have the removable armrest in the center. And it is electric theater seating. So heat and massage, 
as well as electric recliners on this one. Good placement on it, which is right across from the TV area here. And I'm slip sliding around a little bit because there's snow on the ground. And the flooring that they used is this really nice vinyl flooring. It looks really good. I like the color scheme that they went with. And that's kind of drawing us towards the back here too. So right next to the door as you walk in, really nice like kind of countertop area. They got four extension drawers here for a little bit more storage. And I really like that they gave you a shoe hole right at the bottom, right as you walk in the camper here. Off to the back side of the kitchen, this is what screams to me in this camper. This is, I think, the claim to fame here. So you're going to have your residential farmhouse sink, residential faucet, which is overlooking a really nice back window. The view is going to be a lot better once you get it out of my lot here. Underneath there is going to be some well thought out storage. So you got a decent spot here, pots and pans and such. Underneath the sink area, you're going to get a little bit more here. A couple pull-out drawers, and then right underneath that is going to be our central vac that's built into the camper with a kick plate right at the bottom, so you can just sweep up all your messes there. We have a three-burner Gerard cooktop. Underneath is going to be the oven for it. They went with the full appliance package, so there's the vent, and there's the microwave right above there. At the top of the kitchen is going to be even more overhead storage here. This is all wide open, so tons of stuff you can fit in there. Spot for your cups and bowls and all that good thing. And, and we're not done yet. We have a full pantry as soon as we get onto that slide out. Like I mentioned, it's not a deep slide out, but it's deep enough. So plenty of space in the pantry there. Again, they went with the Gerard 12 volt fridge here. So plenty of fridge space. The whole industry is really switching over to these. It matches everything else. Black appliances all throughout. It's a good counter to the, the bright woods that they used and the nice white countertop and everything. Like I said in my top five video that came out recently, you can definitely watch that. And Alpha Wolf is in the top five that I recommended. So on to the bathroom. You got a huge open counter space here so plenty of space for your stuff to get ready a window to look out of while you're getting ready medicine cabinet actually opens so you get a little bit of space there decent sized sink so you can't get to underneath the sink because we have some services under there so it looks like storage but it's really not so just wanted to point that out to you and then as I spin around we have our commode right here which it's not really in the way of your walk space and it gives you a lot of leg room when you sit down. Shower's a really good size here, so I, I'll give you the measurements once I get the video uploaded. I'll edit them in, but good size. They give you an Oxygenics uh, shower head. A lot more pressure, I should say, than the uh, regular shower heads you're given. And then a nice little storage nook next to the shower here for maybe some linens or something like that. So I don't, shame on me, I don't have this all set up right now because I'm so close and still in the runway here, but you do have a second entrance to outside. Queen size bed in the front here, and then wraparound wardrobe over the bed area. So both sides are going to have power, uh, USB chargers, little drawers for storage. There is another TV mount in the living area, or the living area. There is another TV mount in the bedroom area here and a nice little window so you get some natural light. Spec wise, you're looking at a 15,000 BTU air conditioner in this thing. Uh, furnace, you're not going to see any floor vents because it is a uh, furnace that's coming out of ducts in the walls in the furniture here. Uh, makes it a little bit easier for cleanup when you're sweeping up and everything. Um, love to hear what your thoughts are on this layout. Do me a favor. Write me a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Give me some feedback about it. And make sure you subscribe for more walkthrough content like this. Thanks for watching.